What is cloud governance? We hear about the concept all the time, but what does it truly mean? Cloud governance is the people, process, and the technology associated with your cloud infrastructure, security, and operations. This really shouldn't be confused with cloud management. Governance involves a framework with a set of policies and standard practices. This should include policies for cost optimization, resiliency, security, and compliance. So why is cloud governance so important? In the public cloud, decisions are made in a decentralized manner and at a rapid pace. A governance model or a policy becomes critical for keeping the entire organization on track. In the past, the speed of deployment depended heavily on IT departments' ability to spin up new resources, and they had control of allocating hardware for projects. This was measured in months, not minutes. Uh, in the cloud era, the key metric becomes speed, making it more likely that best practices will be circumvented. As firms measure their product teams less on perfection and more on speed and time to market, this mentality is at odds with traditional compliance checks and security processes. Managers need a way to provide best practices and perform automated integrity checks without hindering the speed of product development. Without governance, you will quickly find your cloud environment spiraling out of control. Between the rapid pace of change in environments, new services being adopted by engineering, and rapid growth by many cloud environments, there's no way you and your team can keep up without a governance strategy. So now that you've decided you need a cloud governance strategy, how do you get it started? Zones recommends a federated approach to continuous improvement and management with a centralized cloud governance committee. This cross-functional team can identify common practices and requirements and act as consultants across different groups. An operational extension of those teams. The cloud management function can help with standardizing practices, defining standards, and automated policy enforcement. In a highly distributed and siloed organizations, it's especially helpful to assemble a community of practitioners who can exchange best practices. Communications for this may take the form of wikis, Slack channels, or the group may decide to meet in person for quarterly reviews. The final component required to make cloud governance successful is a management solutions, which can help with both monitoring and defining policies. This solution must be able to look at the cloud environment on both a granular and aggregate level to identify trends, breakdown cost, usage, performance, and security by different teams that consume resources. Lastly, this solution must be able to set predefined policies and then monitor for when the infrastructure is in violation of those policies. For example, you might have a policy that snapshots should be deleted after four weeks for both cost savings and compliance purposes. But without centralized platform to continuously monitor snapshot usage and then terminate the snapshots when they reach the limit, it's nearly impossible to enforce that policy. Manual policy checks will not scale and are prone to human error. Central management teams should provide tools to automate security, check monitor usage, and automatically spot and flag improper usage. Zones can help your team build out a successful cloud governance program or come in and evaluate your current program to provide improvement. We have skilled consultants and industry-leading tools to help drive success.